Referee Harvey Dock, round one. Too pugilistic for tag. Level of activity starts out early in the fight. Ember, his stablemate, champion Jermell Charlo and Mike yes. McCollum will be happy about what we anticipate seeing when it comes. Meetings, a, a tactical affair for the first couple of rounds and then keep morph keep into it. Some panic. But Errol, you know, Errol react, reacting very calm so far. Again with the left hand. And you see what Lamont. Daryl Spence Jr. Spence keeping him at bay with that jab. And then goes to the body. Keep him up for movement, but then move into the pocket when he wanted to. There's a nice the right hand. And Spence wants to continue to make that deposit early, looking for that inventive team. So they've been in the ring together before. And Spence worked a lot on his defense as well. A nice left uppercut, right hand to the body, and love left. With uh, Spence. But we'll see. Yeah, I think Lamont was very surprised that. Eddie, he keeps his pace up through the entire. It's like he fight. builds his up to a Christian. So another good round for the up. Oh, he's a good defensive fighter, even though he's coming forward so much. Laser focus. So far, he's doing that. He might not be doing that well, oh. but he needs to get through it so that he can pick up the pace. This reminds me a lot of Donald Curry, too. Yeah. Yeah. Another Texan. Yeah. Tell you what, Peterson is Peterson picking up the pace. Comes back a third. <laughs> Errol complained about the rabbit punch, and Lamont's like, the conventional wisdom is you can't stand in the pocket oh. with Spence the whole fight. Another uppercut. Let's see. Good stuff here in the third frame of this IBF welterweight title fight. Round number four, we talk about the class acts in the ring. What about the class acts in the good ambassadors for the sport of boxing and also very good trainers. And there, this is a little different kind of fight than we expected, even though we thought it would be a dog fight in harm. A little mouse underneath the right eye of Spence has thrown over 260. Lead already. left hand through the goal. little sneak move. Stepping back and then uh, the incredible technique. Oh, yeah. There's a nice left hand oh. by Peterson and a short right hand that caught Spence. And now and Spence, well, possesses a lot of snap with those punches. Although Lamont Peterson coming forward here, attacking up to do the same. And we mentioned Lamont Peterson is a good body puncher. And it's a textbook guy, more fresh. He's throwing more punches. He's, he's a bigger guy. Oh, and there he drops Lamont Peterson and, and Peterson hitting the deck for the Display. Keith Thurman actually oh. said the winner would be the one with the biggest heart. Well, Lamont Peterson shows to give Errol Spence and Spear Peterson with a left hand. It's hard again. It's hard again. Oh. It doesn't deter Errol. Round six, and Spence comes out firing. Tactical for the first few rounds, and then it would become a dogfight. Did it some early in the fight when he was very competitive, but had a hard time landing it. Well, Spence... Uh, ...edge for, uh, or gap for watch Spence. Errol, watch Errol Spence. ...a clinic, but again, the heart of Lamont Peterson fully on display. Ding. Through these shots from Peterson. He's had an amazing right up with the jab, the, the straight left, the uppercuts, the body shots. And you know, Lamont, we'll see if he can continue. And being in this kind of fight will definitely wear you down. Back to the 2012 Olympics. Was really as enthusiastic. Yeah. Targeting all facets of Lamont Peterson's anatomy. Yeah, yeah I want to call. by Barry Hunter. The truth 